Meninji's Manor. <laughs> Let's go ghost hunting in this creepy haunted house to explore the different layers of the Meninji's. There are three layers snuggling in between the skull, shown by these skull tiles on the roof and the brain, which we've symbolized with this gray and white fog. You know, like gray and white matter. It's important to remember that the meninges not only surround and protect the brain, but also the spinal cord. So in the spine, they're between the vertebral column and the spinal cord. Huh. Seems that fog is blocking our path from the bottom, so we'll just head down from this skull-tiled roof. Just like we'll explore the meninges from superficial to deep. First stop, the crawl space above the attic. And you know it's not just a creepy craftsman, because look at how durable this floor is. The first layer of the meninges is the dura mater, a tough, fibrous outer layer closest to the skull. In fact, it's tightly adherent to the skull at the skull sutures. It forms several important sheets throughout the skull and contains the dural venous sinuses that bring venous blood from the brain back to systemic circulation. Don't crack your skull on these pipes. The space between the dura and the skull is called the epidural space, containing fat and blood vessels, like these pipes here. It's a potential space, meaning it's not normally just an open space, but fluid can still collect here. When that fluid is blood, it's called an epidural hematoma and is associated with injury to a particular artery that runs through here, but more on that in the next sketch. Because the meninges continue into the spine, this epidural space also continues into the spine. Clinically, the epidural space in the spine is often used for providing epidural anesthesia, where a catheter is inserted here by a needle, just like this chim needle is poking its way into the crawl space. See how sharp that tip is? The needle will have to pass through the skin, superficial tissue, and three spinal ligaments in order to enter this space. Once the needle is withdrawn and the catheter is left in place, anesthetic is given to numb the spinal nerves passing through here. Well, no ghosts in this crawl space. Better head down to the next level. <laughs>